out in cyberspace, Eddie Izzard. Yay! And thank you all very much for being part of this first worldwide interactive cinema experience. This first flavour of eco-casting linked up speakers and audience in dozens of locations in the UK and across the world. I think we've got a question for you now, Jude, from Tracy in Dundrum in Ireland. Hi, a uh, question for Jude. Hi Jude, did you find it difficult to physically transform from man, from woman to man? From... <laughs> Man's man's man. I'm still working on it. Okay. <laughs> the UK Film Council used eco-casting for a series of encounters between star directors like Armando Iannucci and audiences watching their films in India. I have a question from Anil in Mumbai that says, how did American audiences take to it? I think well, an Oscar nomination is well, a good it got, answer to I that mean, question, the critics... But. You know, it got a fantastic set of reviews. I didn't know what it was going to be like. And I stood at the back and I just watched the audience laugh at the film. And that had always been my kind of aspiration, really. You know, growing up, going to see Woody Allen films and films like Spinal Tap and Monty Python, The Holy Grail. You know, the, the sound of a cinema laughing. Coming from a country where we always have coalition governments, you can take it easy. It's not going to happen for the next one hour and a half. A prestigious lecture like IIED's invitation to EU Climate Commissioner Hedegaard can gain even more impact if it's broadcast across the web and opened up to global participation. If I told you that the leaders of the world would accept the two degrees and now more than 120 countries have accepted that, you'd say no. So sometimes, I mean, I, I can look at sort of the multilateral things and say, oh my goodness, it's slow and you can just claim to somebody there is a lack of trust and then there is a lot of politics and that and then, you know, the, the things get very, very, very slow. But then when I see it as a process over some years, we have come a long way. And eco-casting can move into another dimension when the audience is also present as avatars in a virtual world. Greetings from the UN Conference on Climate Change in Bali, Indonesia. We have the technologies already, we have some of the institutions, we now need some political will and some money to make it happen. The audience can follow the live stream and, at the same time, meet and interact with a person from another continent who feels like they're sitting right next to them. Welcome to the One Climate Channel, broadcasting live from the Bella Centre here in Copenhagen. Ecocasting comes into its own at major international conferences. By providing live, all-day coverage of the key events and speakers, it can open a window of participation for millions of people without the carbon cost of flying. Wheel it out in the morning before anyone comes in, plug it in, and no one quite realises that this actually means that we can go live to the world.